it's story time guys and uh, the story i'm going to tell you it really happened to me and from my experience okay so it's not that i'm making up the story or i had it from someone else no it's me christine telling the story of what happened to me so guys grab that seat sit down chillax enjoy the video but eh, before i go stay to the video don't laugh I know if you want to laugh it's okay it's acceptable laugh but uh, so guys let's go straight to the story so a few years ago guys uh, life was not easy to me my side life was miserable let me say i really struggled i really struggled when i say i really struggled i did uh, life was so challenging and uh, there was a time you know these strikes most of the time they do happen with workers you know in africa kenya even all over the world people do strike so that time when i was going through a lot we had a strike you know and uh, we strike we went on strike for six months you know we went on strike for six months and on the third month we were on strike the third month we were on strike oh god something terrible happened <sighs> Guys, something terrible happened to me. No reason, but something happened to me. That was the worst thing and the worst moment. No? So, we were on the third, third month on strike and, uh, you know, we use uh, pit latrines <laughs> to ease ourselves back home. We don't use, most of the homes, you know, life in the village, we don't use these toilets. We use the latrines. So, the other time I went to is myself in the lottery outside and then you know and I had I I was wearing my trouser, these long pants, and uh, you know these back pockets, I had my phone there. So when I went so as I was saying guys, so when I was almost like ready, almost to do my business, you know I'm ready there. I'm, oh god. I just saw like I was holding my you know my trouser like this um, i'm almost ready like you know my i saw my phone coming from my back pocket small in a smooth motion dropped on the floor then dropped inside the pit latrine oh my goodness guys you know we're on strike that was the third month we were on strike no pay you know no pay and i don't know when we'll be back to work you know it was the third month and we stayed on strike for six months so that was the third month we didn't know when we'd be back on to work so i'm like oh my goodness now where do i start that's the only phone i have to communicate to call and everything so i'm like where do i start from oh god this is a lot so i had to go to my neighbor of course and explain myself to my neighbor told her what has happened if she can help me and then she told me ah there's a guy here there's a young man here who can help you i know he can do that i'm like are you sure he's like yeah you know he can help you he's smart he's good on that i'm like okay so quickly um, call that boy the guy the boy came it was just a young guy like in her just a young guy so the boy then that young the boy came and then uh, he explained everything to him and then he's like yeah mama ryan and they call me mama ryan mama ryan that's easy i'll go and help him like, okay let's go so next guys i'm at home now with this boy uh we went inside the latrine he had a look we used a flashlight to see if we can have a, a look at that phone and see where is this and then yeah we saw it luckily it was on top of the diaper you know, line was few months, but seven was seven, eight months old. So we was still using diapers. So we saw that phone was on top of the diaper. So it's like, yeah, that one is good. I can manage it. I can remove them. Okay. It's like, let me go. Let me go in my house and come with some wires so that I can be able to remove them. Okay. So in the next few minutes, he came back with wires connected together with a use with a flashlight. He managed to remove the phone yeah managed to remove the phone guys from that pit latrine <laughs> but it didn't have any poop it just had just that you know 
So the, the good thing is I always have those disinfectant wipes. So I used it to wipe, 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 wipe. And then voila, I had my phone back. I had to use it. So guys, learn my lesson. I really learned my lesson. So next time you go there, use the bathroom. I mean, you go in bathroom or whatever. We call bathroom, latrine, toilet. So next time you go to the toilet, you go to the bathroom to ease yourself. Remove your phone from the side pocket. Don't have make that mistake. Like me, don't drop your phone in the bathroom, the toilet. Remove it. Okay, that's the bitter lesson I learned. That till now, I don't go to the toilet with my phone in the pub the side pocket, in the back pocket. I don't do that. No, 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 no. And then, something else I learned, guys, from that story. Something else I learned. Imagine, if I had money, would I even go to that extent of removing that phone, that, that daddy phone from the latrine? No. But I had to. I didn't have any other choice. I didn't have any other option. Why? Poverty, guys. Poverty is bad. That's why I'm saying if you have a chance to work, work smart. If you have a chance to work, work really hard and work really smart. Make yourself rich. Make yourself very, very rich. So that these small things like this, small accidents like this that happen at home on a daily basis, they won't stress you up. Something like that happens if you have money. Well, you know, you just go and buy another new phone. But now if you don't have any other thing, you have no money, we are on strike, we are not working, I don't have anything. So I'm like, what do I do? You know, you know what I mean, guys? What do I do? So work hard. Poverty is bad. Guys, poverty is bad. Yeah? Let's just try and work hard and job. Boy, this embarrassed my love. Can you imagine? Trying to remove the the phone from the latrine from the oh my goodness oh, the embarrassment. But what do I do? If you have no other alternative, you have no choice. You have to bear. And what you gotta do? Because that's what you can do. That's what you can manage. So that's the sad story, guys, that happened to me. You know. Thank you. Stay tuned for more stories coming. I have so many stories I'll be telling you every day. So stay tuned. If you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly please go ahead, click that subscribe button. Click the like, send me some comments. Let me know how you, uh, let me know in the comments about the story. What do you feel or what do you think? Can you do that? If it happens to you, can you do that? Imagine you can if you have no alternative, but let me know. Cheers.